take more than half an hour. Um, so I'll walk you through all the social spaces and the rooms that we've got in the accommodation. And then we've got some time. If you've got any questions for me as well, I can answer that at the end for you. If you want to, you can get a pen and paper to take some notes while I'm talking. So, you know, all the information about prices and rooms that we've got. Um, we are a prestige student living accommodation and we're a part of Homes for Students, which have loads of different accommodations in the UK and in Birmingham as well. We are based in Birmingham and we're really close to the University of Birmingham, only a short minute walk from there. Um, I am a customer service assistant and we've got an on-site team um, at the accommodation, which consists of me, the property manager and the property services assistant. Um, so there's three people in the accommodation at all time to help you with anything, any issues that you might have. Um, I'm currently in the reception area. Um, so behind me you can see the letterboxes that are at the entrance where um, you can get your post delivered. But also behind me is the reception area. So this is where I and the property manager would sit um, and chat to you guys and accept parcels and post as well. So I'm going to quickly show you the outside of the building, um, so where you're going to be walking into while you get into the accommodation. So we are located on Bristol Road. This is the entrance to the accommodation. And as you walk in, this is the reception area with the parcel exception over here. So I'm currently past the reception area point um, while in the lift lobby area. So we have lift access in the accommodation, which I would like to show you here. So the lift goes up to the third floor and we're currently on the ground floor. Next to the lift, we have um, a board with all the student experience and all the useful information about opening hours, services that we have in the accommodation, um, where you can find more information about books, prices, our rooms, our newsletter as well. So there's loads of things to keep an eye out for. So now I'm quickly going to walk you through the flat corridor. I'm going to take the lift so you can follow me. If you have any questions so far, please pop them down and I will answer them after the viewing is done. Yeah, we love the view. <laughs> it's an Easter one, so we've still got Easter decorations. But I'm going to walk now to one of our show flats through the accommodation corridor. So I just exited the lift. And here you can see one of our corridors. So I'm walking down the corridor now to one of our show flats. So now this is an ensuite studio flat. All of our studios in the accommodation are ensuite. So that means you've got your own bathroom. I will take you to have a quick look at the bathroom right now. This is the ensuite bathroom. So we've got a shower here. We've got a wash basin, a toilet. We've got a rack to hang up all of your towels. Um, little one as well to hang out with more stuff. We've got a mirror um, and a little bit of storage space as well. Here you can put any shelves or everything that you've got um, that you want to store in the toilet. So this is located on your left as you walk into the room. And now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the room itself.
So it's a very nice room. Behind me you can see um, there's a wardrobe and a desk area. All of our rooms are studio rooms, so that means you've got your own kitchen, your own bathroom, a double bed. Um, there's loads of services included into the room as well. We've got free Wi-Fi, um, free reception, like I mentioned, free bike storage, loads of communal spaces as well. I'm just going to take you now to have a quick look around the room at all the storage spaces um, and all the little details so you can really get the feel of what the room looks like. So as we enter, we've got the mirror right in front of you, which is located attached to the wardrobe area. I'll open the wardrobe quickly for you now as well. So this part has got some storage with drawers. This part has got more hanging storage. So I'll just quickly show you the drawers as well. There you go. So three drawers. This is what it looks like from a bit of distance. On the left, we've got more storage units. So we've got three storage uh, drawers in here that you open up on the desk we've got quite a nice um, pin board as well so any you can pin on any posters any little bit postcards that you want um, to decorate your room storage area up from the desk as well and on the left so there's quite a few places you can store your books and notebooks and anything that you want um, this here as well we've got more storage area on the left, we've got storage for shoes or anything that you want kind of put away at the moment. And also quite exciting, we've got a smart TV in every room. So um, not only a TV, but you can connect your laptop and Netflix, Spotify, um, your Xbox, anything you want, you can connect to that TV. Moving on to the left, so this is a window, every room has a large window which goes out either to the courtyard area or towards um, Bristol Road. So this room I'm here right now, it goes out to the parking and courtyard area. Um, as you can see, it's a quite nice big window, it's giving you a lot of light in the room um, that's going on to the bed. The bed uh, has storage built into it as well. So under the bed, there's under bed storage. Right here. And right here. Where you can put away your duvet. storage area. So this is actually a classic studio plus, which I'm trying to, this is a classic studio plus room. Um, and then sitting area as well, you've got bin bags um, and now the kitchen area. I'm sorry, I think, can anyone hear me? Please let me know if you can't hear me. Um, so this is a breakfast bar, kitchen area. We've got induction hobs right here. We've got an oven, there's a microwave, fridge. And more storage area under the sink and under the kitchen top here as well. And loads of storage area in the cupboards above the kitchen, all the way around here. That's all cabinets. You can store your food and anything that you want in there. Okay, so this is a classic Studio Plus. 
I hope you guys enjoyed, but now I'm going to take you into a premium studio, which is a slightly bigger studio that we have um, to this one, which is equally as nice. And I'm just going to quickly show you around what the difference is um, and what it looks like in a premium studio compared to a classic studio. So follow me. Again, this is the corridor area. I'm just going to quickly show you what that looks like. As we walk through, we're on the first floor at the moment, going into the premium studio. Okay, so now I'm showing you the premium studio that we have in our accommodation. So this is an ensuite, classic ensuite. Sorry, not a classic. This is an ensuite premium with your own kitchen and bathroom. So I'll just quickly show you the bathroom, the size of the bathroom first as well. It's quite a large bathroom. It's much bigger than the classic studio so you've got a lot of space you've got a walk-in shower and quite a lot of space here as well for shelves and any furniture that you want might want to purchase it's a little mirror there as well and coming out of the bathroom which is located on the left as you go in which i'm going to close the door right now so this is, I'm just going to quickly give you an overview of the room. It's nice and bright as well with a big window. Um, and storage area is quite similar to the one that we have previously seen. But this one compared to the last one, it has a little bit more of floor space. So it's a bit larger. Okay, so on the left here. We've got a wardrobe as well. I'm just going to quickly show you the inside of it. It's the same standard as in the classic studio. So we've got on the left, really nice big space for anything that you might have. We've got some storage area here as well with drawers. Then further on the left, we have the kitchen. So all of our studios have your own kitchen um, included in the studio layout. You don't share it with anyone else. We've got a breakfast bar. So um, this is where you can eat your meals. You've got two high chairs as well. Um, the room is equipped with a microwave, an induction hob and a oven as well with quite a bigger space in the oven. We've got appliances um, and storage area again. We've got quite a bit of storage area above the kitchen work area. You can see you can open up for you. So this is where you can store all your food, all your cutlery, all your bowls. It's quite a nice big um, storage space. And again, under the sink as well, we've got the fridge right here. I'll just quickly show you what it looks like from a distance. So we've got a little bit more storage here. And then on to the desk area. So you've got a nice desk, quite big, um, fitted into the room with, again, loads of storage space under the desk here with drawers on the right. Um, and then some shelving area on the right as well. Again, we've got a nice big window um, that's going out onto the courtyard area. So this is a quiet room as well. You can see um, the rest of the building kind of picking out on this side too. Um, we've got a smart TV. So smart TV. Um, sat here as well and then going through to the right we've got the bedroom area so two bean bags just like in the previous room 
And a lot of our social spaces have this kind of bean bags as well. So you can just sit on them. They're quite soft and nice and plushy. Um, a three quarters bed size as well. So as you can see, the beds are quite nice, they're quite big, um, and with storage spaces under the bed as well. He's got one storage space here for any duvets or luggage that you might have that you don't want in your room. You can store under here. Okay, so this is it. This is the premium studio. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So in terms of rooms, this is it. Um, there are two different types of rooms. So I've shown you two types. So the classic studio plus, and this is a premium studio. There are two different types. Um, we've got other types of rooms as well that you can see on our website um, with full prices and um, all the information about facilities you have on there. Um, but now I'm just going to quickly show you around the ground floor where all of our social spaces are. So I'm going to show you the um, lounge, the dinner party room, cinema room, gym and study rooms as well as the laundry area. So follow me. I'm going to take, so this is the lift on the right, but I'm going to take the stairs. This time we have the lift as well as the stairs in the accommodation. So I'm quickly just going downstairs. currently in the laundry area so we've got a circuit laundrette sorry we've got a circuit laundrette um, and I'm just going to show you around in a minute you get a circuit card that you top up and you share the laundry area with all the students in the accommodation this is what it looks like so you've got the laundry machines on this side here and then you've got the drying machines here as well. So um, to use the washing machines, you use a circuit card. So you, we give you a circuit card once you join the accommodation and then you make a top up on the card. Everything is explained on this wall here, how to do that. It's pretty easy. It's an easy process to do. We're always happy to help you. If you don't know what, how to do this, um, we can do that for you. Um, but this is me in the laundry area. And now follow me, I will show you the study room and the gym area. Okay, so now I'm going into the study room. So this is a study room area where you can join in for study group or you can come and study on your own as well. As you can see, we've got a table, there's loads of sitting space and a blackboard as well. So you can get to get with a group of friends and make a study group and study here. So now we've got the gym. So at the moment, we've got a booking system for the gym, but this will soon be um, rectified so everyone can use the gym area. So we've got, 
We've got bars, we've got a bench, we've got a string machine. There's cardio machines and exercise mats as well. The gym is free of charge, so it's included in your rent. So we don't charge anything extra for the gym. It's free to use for everyone. Next up, we've got the cinema room. Just quickly going to give you a peek of what that looks like. So with the cinema room, you have to make a booking. It's free of charge as well, but you have to book in advance. Um, you plug in your laptop or any DVDs that you can have um, into this port here. And then anything that you want to watch is displayed on the big screen. You can bring your Xboxes, you can bring your PlayStation as well and connect it. So then you can have a gaming night um, in the cinema room too. Okay, so this is the dinner party room. So this is the dinner party room where you can get, you can have to book it as well. So you can book with your friends and get together and plan a dinner party. So as you can see, there's a large sitting area as well as cooking facilities. So you've got a microwave here. Um, there's loads of cutlery and um, plates and glasses that you can use for your party. There's an induction hob, um, an oven, there's a big fridge as well that you can use to store your food for the dinner party. and a dishwasher so you don't have to wash up everything. If you use any of the cutlery, you can just pop it into the dishwasher and that will do it for you. And finally, this is the final area of the accommodation, which is the lounge area. There's a TV area here, so you can watch TV, you can watch sports, you can watch anything that you want. You've got the library area as well, with loads of books and dictionaries to help you with your studies. Here is a study area, so we've got some high chairs. It's socially distanced at the moment, so all you have to do is just come down and say you want to use the lounge, and then we will let you into it. Here is more study space and more space for studying. And this is another view of the lounge from my angle. Okay, so this is pretty much it. Um, this is all the rooms that I wanted to show you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Do you have any questions that I can answer for you right now? Um, I'd be really happy to. If you've got anything, just pop it down in the comment section um, and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have about 800 Bristol Road. Okay, so for washing and cleaning, for a single wash, it's £3.30. And then on top of that, you can pay for the drying, which I believe is £1.80. I'm not entirely sure, but this is operated by circuit. So we don't operate it in the accommodation, actually. It's done by an outside company. So if you go on the circuit website, 
they will have all the information about prices and washing machines um, that you might need. Um, it's not something that we take care of, actually. Um, but yeah, it's three pound thirty for three pound thirty for a single washing machine wash. I'm not sure about the drying. Yeah, amazing. Is there any more questions? So I'm just going to quickly tell you about um, the offers that we've got at the moment while people might still want to get some questions in. Um, we do have a cashback offer at the moment. So it's £250 cashback you can get while you make a booking with us. Um, you can also book for a short-term summer stay. So when you book for a short-term summer stay for 2021, um, you can get a reduced rent for that booking. So the booking will have to be um, made for the summer term only. We also, because our accommodation is five years old this year, so it's a new brand new accommodation, um, but we're celebrating the fifth year anniversary. Because of that, we have a special offer as well. So you can arrive four weeks early to the accommodation free of charge. Um, so, for example, our checkout date, uh, check-in date is 11th of September. However, if you book with that offer, you can check in early, up to four weeks, free of charge. Um, we do have some more offers on our website, so always please do check and book. You can always book a viewing to um, please check our website for any updates. And if there's no more questions at the moment, I can't see any. This is the final, final chance for any last questions. If there's no more questions, I just wanted to thank you very much for everyone to who joined me today. This is the first U Homes viewing that I've done. So um, I'm quite excited and I hope to see some of you in the new year. Thank you so much. Bye.